This video is going to focus on subtracting fractions that have unlike denominators. And the steps that we're going to use to solve these problems is uh, basically the same steps that were used to solve the addition problems. We're going to be using an algorithm that involves cross multiplication and allows us to uh, fairly easily uh, work these problems out. So let's take, for example, um, two fractions. I'll take six sevenths, and I want to take away from it two fifths. Well, one of the things that's really nice about doing this particular uh, way to solve it, it immediately lets you know if the fractions are in the right order. We're not working with negative numbers, so the larger fraction has got to be the first one. It's the larger one that we're taking something away from. Well, when we stu uh, do our first uh, steps, when we cross multiply, it automatically tells us which fraction is larger. In a situation like this, where I've already given you the, the fractions in the correct order, it doesn't really matter, but what if it's a word problem? Easy way to check to make sure you've lined the fractions up correctly. 5 times 6 is 30, and 7 times 2 is 14. 30 is bigger than 14, so we know we have the right fraction in the front of the problem. The next step is I'm going to find my common denominator by just simply multiplying the denominators. I work it out. I have 30 over 7 times 5, which is 35. And this time, this is a subtraction problem, so I'm putting a subtraction symbol here. Over 14, 14 over 35. These fractions are now the same kind of fraction, or I like to say the same color, um, and they're broken into this equal amounts, and so now we can subtract them from each other. I have 30 of these 35ths, and I'm going to take away from them 14 of these 35ths. And when I do the subtraction, 30 take away uh, 14 is 16, and I'm left with 16 of those 35ths. So the last step is to figure out if there is anything that 16 and 35 share in common that would allow me to simplify this even further. So I go through in my head the uh, factors that make up 16. I know I can multiply um, 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. For 35, I can multiply 1 times 35, and I can multiply 5 times 7. And that's it. They don't share anything in common other than one, so I'm finished. 16 35ths is the answer to this problem. All right, so let's try one more. Um, let's do 3 fourths, and I'm going to subtract from it, um, let's do 2 eighths. Okay, so I'm going to do the same kind of uh, setup here. Cross multiply first. 3 times 8 is 24. 4 times 2 is 8. And then I'm going to multiply the denominators so that I can get a common denominator. So I'm going to have 24 over 4 times 8, which is 32. And I'm going to subtract from that 8 30 seconds. Okay, so I have 24 30 seconds, take away 8 30 seconds. All right, and when I do that, I'm going to get 16 30 seconds left over. All right, so I look at that and see, well, can I simplify this? I know immediately that I can because they're both even numbers, which means they both can be divided by 2. But I want to see if I can go a little bit further than that. And so one of the things I like to do when I'm trying to figure it out is I'll double the number on top just to see if for some reason that helps out. So if I double 16, 
16 plus 16 turns out is 32. So 16 is actually half of 32, which means this is going to simplify down to one half. Right? So this is how we use this particular method for subtracting fractions with unlike denominators.